Hello artists. I hope you're having a great day today. We're going to be reading a story called A Pocket for Corduroy by Don Freeman. We're, when we're all done with this, we're going to be working on a drawing of our very own corduroy and he's even going to have a little pocket that you can put a little message in and take it out. It's going to be a working pocket. So we're going to work on that today in art class. I'm excited to see all your little corduroys. A Pocket for Corduroy by Don Freeman. Late one summer afternoon, Lisa and her mother took their laundry to the laundromat. As always on such trips, Lisa carried along her toy bear corduroy. The laundromat was a very busy place at this hour. Now, corduroy, you sit right here and wait for me, Lisa said. I'm going to help with our wash. Corduroy waited patiently. Then he suddenly perked up his ears. Lisa's mother was saying, be sure to take everything out of your pockets, Lisa dear. You don't want your precious things to get all wet and soapy. Pocket, said Corduroy to himself. I don't have a pocket. He slid off the chair. I must go find something to make a pocket out of, he said, and he began to look around. First, he came to a pile of fancy towels and washcloths, but nothing was the right size or color. Then he saw a huge stack of colorful clothes in a laundry bag. There ought to be something in there to make a pocket out of, he said. Without hesitating, he climbed inside the bag, which was filled with pieces of wet laundry. The damp dampness didn't bother Corduroy in the least. This must be a cave, he said, sighing happily. I've always wanted to live in a dark, cool cave. When the time came for Lisa to fetch her bear, he was gone. Oh, Mommy, she exclaimed. Corduroy isn't here where I left him. I'm sorry, honey, said her mother, but the laundromat will be closing soon and we must be getting home. Lisa was reluctant to leave without corduroy, but her mother insisted. You can come back tomorrow, she said. I'm sure he will still be here. As they left, a young man wearing an artist's beret was taking his wet laundry out of a bag, the very bag corduroy had discovered. Before he knew it, Corduroy was being tossed together with all the sheets, shirts, shorts, and slacks inside the dryer. But just as the artist was shutting the glass door, Corduroy tumbled out onto the floor. How in thunder did that bear ever get mixed up with all my things? The artist wondered. Poor Corduroy was damp all over. The least I can do for him is Give his overalls a good drying, said the man thoughtfully. He unbuttoned Corduroy's shoulder straps and put his overalls in the dryer. Corduroy grew dizzy as he watched the clothes spinning around, but the artist became inspired. This would make a wonderful painting, he said, as he took a sketch pad out of his pocket and began drawing the swirling colors. I can hardly wait to get back to my studio. Finally, the dryer stopped whirling and the man gathered up the clothes. Then he helped Corduroy put on his warm, dry overalls. All at once, the manager of the laundromat called, Closing time! Everybody out! Corduroy was gently placed on top of a washing machine. I wonder who that bear belongs to, said the artist as he was leaving. Seems to me he should have his name someplace. He's too fine a fellow to be lost. As soon as the lights were turned off, Corduroy began his search again. He was surprised to see something white glowing in the dark. Maybe it's snow, he said excitedly. I've always wanted to play in the snow. Uh-oh. What do you think's going to happen? Mm -hmm. <gasps> he 
accidentally tipped over the open lidded box and suddenly he was covered with soft, slippery soap flakes. Gradually, Corduroy began to slip and slide. Oh, what fun, he said with a smile. I've always wanted to ski down a steep mountain mountainside. He landed paws first in an empty laundry basket. This must be a cage, he said, peeking through the bars. I've never wanted to live inside a cage like a bear in the zoo. But by now, Corduroy felt drowsy and soon he nodded off to sleep. Next morning, when the manager came to the open the door of the laundromat, there was Lisa waiting. I left something here yesterday, she explained. May I look around? Certainly, said the manager. My customers are always leaving things. Lisa was searching under the chairs and in back of the washing machines when she heard the manager call her. Is this what you're looking for, senorita? Yes, yes, he's my best friend, shouted Lisa as she came running. She reached in and picked Corduroy out of the basket. So this is where you've been, you little rascal, she said. It's time I took you home. Lisa thanked the manager and ran out the door and down the street, holding Corduroy tightly in her arms. I thought I told you to wait for me, she said. Why did you wander away? I went looking for a pocket, Corduroy said. Oh, Corduroy, why didn't you tell me you wanted a pocket, asked Lisa, giving him an affectionate squeeze. And that very morning, Lisa sewed a pocket on Corduroy's overalls. And here is a card I've made with your name on it for you to keep tucked inside, she said. I've always wanted a purple pocket with my name tucked inside, said Corduroy, as he and Lisa nuzzled noses. For our project today, we're going to be making a picture of corduroy. So you're going to need one piece of white drawing paper, and then you're also going to need one smaller piece of paper, and that can just be a scrap. It doesn't even have to be this big. It could be half the size. And what we're going to do is we'll start by drawing corduroy's head, and we're going to use a shape called an oval. An oval is kind of like an egg shape, if you think about in your head what an egg looks like. But we're going to turn it sideways, this way. So I'm going to have near the top, um, leave a little room for the ears, and then I'm going to have you use your pencil, and we're going to draw a sideways oval. And if yours ends up looking a little more rounded, like a circle, it's okay. We're getting practice. So there's my oval. And then we're gonna go back up here and we're gonna give them some ears. And they're kind of like a rainbow line. If you think about what a rainbow looks like, just like that. And then right about here, we're gonna do a little dotted line or dashed line. That means that it's little tiny lines, kind of like a rainbow too. So that's going to be the fur around his, um, on his face. This is going to be around his mouth area. We're going to go back and we're going to practice drawing a couple more circles for eyes. Look at that. And then we're going to draw another rainbow line inside there. Okay. And then you can use your pencil to color that in really nice and dark. And that'll be for his eyes. Now we're gonna go back up here to his ears. And we're gonna give him a little bit of fur inside his ears. We're just gonna kind of draw some little lines like that. And then we're gonna go down here for his nose and we're gonna draw a shape that's got two lines so it looks like a letter V. And then we're just gonna curve it on top like that. And you can color that in with your pencil too. And we're gonna draw a line down and then one curve going this way and one curve going this way for his mouth. Now, 
Corduroy was wearing overalls in the story, if you remember. So we're gonna try and make some overalls today on our, on our corduroy, and I'm gonna teach you how. So first thing we're gonna do is on this side, I'm gonna have you draw just a little line kind of for his shoulder right there, and a little line on this side too for his shoulder, like that. And then we're gonna draw one line coming down like this, and another line coming down like this. And then we're gonna curve it, like that. And we're gonna give him a little button. So we're gonna practice our circle again. On this side, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna draw one line coming down, another line coming down, and we're gonna go with a curvy line and a circle for a button. Then we're gonna put a line that goes across for the top of his overalls. You can even maybe make it a little higher. I, maybe I made it a little too low. We'll make it a little bit higher like that. Okay. And then we're gonna have his arm come down like this and just curve back up to where that uh, the bottom of the strap is like that. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Curve down and just go back up. And we're gonna create some pants. So here under the arm, we're gonna make a line that comes down and it can be a little curvy if you want. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight and this side too. And we're just gonna put one line in the middle. See, and now we have two legs. And we're gonna close the bottom. Zoop. Zoop. And we're gonna give them some fuzzy feet. We're just using little dotted lines like we did up here. So it looks kind of fuzzy or furry. Now here, right on here, we're gonna make a little pocket, but We'll do that in just a little bit. Well, actually, we'll draw the pocket right now and then we'll cut it out in a little bit. So on your scrap of paper, you're gonna be drawing a little pocket shape to go right here. Now, you have to look at your bear to see how big that space is because your space might be different than mine. So I'm gonna kind of look at it and I'm gonna draw a line like this. And then I'm just gonna draw two lines down. And I could even make it curvy on the bottom like that, okay? And I think that'll fit there. And if it doesn't, I can cut it a little bit, make it a little smaller when I, when I cut it out. So I'm gonna put this off to the side and I'm gonna go back to my bear and I'm gonna start to color my bear in. Now, I'm gonna leave it up to you, whatever color you wanna make your bear. That's your choice. When I was about your age, I had a teddy bear um, named Smokey the Bear, and you might even know Smokey the Bear from commercials about um, helping prevent forest fires. And my bear was brown. So I think I'm gonna make my bear here brown, but you can make your bear whatever color you want. And I'm gonna trace here. And I'm just tracing over the edge like this. And then I'm gonna go back up here and I'm gonna trace that little dotted line I made And while I have this color in my hand, I'm gonna trace the, the arms. And I'm gonna trace over the little furry feet, those little lines. All right, and then I'm gonna choose, let's see, I'm gonna find a black. I'm gonna have everybody find a black crayon and we're gonna trace over the eyes 
If you want to color in the black part of the eye, you can, but you don't have to since we did it with our pencil. And we're going to trace the nose and the mouth. Okay. And then we're going to work on coloring our overalls. So corduroy had green overalls and then a little purple and pink pocket. You can decide whatever color you want. There's so many colors out there. So um, think about what you would like to do. And I think for mine, I think I'm gonna make mine um, purple. So I'm gonna color or trace the straps here and here. I'm gonna trace this part and down on the sides down on the sides and at the bottom and here for the legs and then I'm going to use my purple and I'm going to practice coloring in just his overalls. I'm not going to color in his face right now. I'm just going to practice the overalls. And you can, while you're coloring it in, if you want to think about what color you want to make the buttons, you can kind of be thinking about that while you do this. They could even be two different colors if you wanted. So A Pocket for Corduroy was the story we just read. And there's also a book that's just called Corduroy. And it's a neat story about the same little bear. So if you liked this book, you might, next time you're able to go to the library, you might want to see if they have a copy of Corduroy there. And you can always pause the video if you need to. if you're not quite ready to move on to the next step. But I'm gonna go ahead and color in the little buttons here. I'm gonna choose a blue. Um, I guess I'm gonna do a blue over here too. Okay, and then we also are gonna need to color the pocket. So think about what color you might wanna use and you're gonna trace it. And if you want to put a design on it or a shape on it, you could do that. Or you could do stripes or you could do plaid. A plaid is when you have stripes going one way, but then you also have stripes going the other way. So it kind of makes these little boxes. I'll show you how to do that on here. So if you want to, then you can try it. So for a plaid, I'm going to draw lines going one direction. So see how they're all going on a diagonal that way? But now I'm gonna draw them going this way. And it kind of creates these little boxes inside. And if I wanna get really fancy, I could color in every other one. And then it kind of looks like a checkerboard. Like that. When you're all done, we're gonna carefully cut it out. Like that. And we're gonna need a glue, glue stick, to glue it down. So, I have my glue stick and I'm gonna put glue, I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna put blue, glue on the sides and on the bottom. But I'm gonna leave the top open because that way it can really work like a pocket. So I'm gonna put a little glue here and a little glue here and a little glue at the bottom, that curvy part. And when I flip it over, I'm gonna push it down like that, and there, the top is still open. So if I want to, 
and you can do this if you want to, you could actually make a tiny little note to go inside there. You might wanna make it a little taller than the pocket so you're able to put um, pull it out of the pocket when you want to. But you could take your pencil and if you wanted to write Corduroy's name on it, you could. Or you could give your bear any name you wanted. Um, so if I wanted to write Corduroy, I could write C O R D U R O Y, Corduroy. And then I could take that, the little note, and I could put it right inside the pocket like that. So I hope you had fun making your little version of corduroy too. When you're all done, you're gonna have your own little bear with overalls and a pocket, and you might have even made a little note to go inside the pocket too. So I hope you had fun. I hope you really liked the story. If you did like the story, check out other corduroy books at your library. They're very cute, and I love the character of corduroy. I like how he kind of gets into a little bit of mischief, but he always finds his way back home or finds his way back to his um, the girl that owns him. So I hope you enjoyed the book. I'll see you next time.